And everybody starts the day in a similar way. Every single morning, we open our eyes with drum, drums and sighs. While we're stretching and yawning, then we fold aside. The counter came, and the, and the moment is at hand. Which side of the bed will our head be on when on our feet we stand? Some days the right side is the wrong side. Some days the left side is the wrong side. Those days your face is on the long side all day long. Some days the right side is the right side. Some days the left side is the right side. Those days your face is on the bright side all day long. It's up to you to choose which way your day is going to start. The right side or the wrong side is decided by your heart. So try to think about the bright things. You'll find that they are all the right things. You'll be on the right side, never on the wrong. All day. Was we could say this is going to be sung by a very beautiful voice, a very pure girl, lady's voice, and he could hear through what I was doing to what he was going to hear in the movie. And believe me, that's a talent in itself. I mean, the man was incredible that way. We didn't have to make elaborate demos or anything. I just sing him the song, and of course that one didn't make it. Then we had a song that we wrote for Admiral Boone. Now you remember Admiral Boone? Yeah. He's a he's the one that shot off his cannon, you know, at the crack of. 8 o'clock in the morning at 6 o'clock at night, boom, would go the cannon. And so we decided we'd have a song that Admiral Boom would sing. And he had a, a couple of, of uh, sort of assistants. We wound up with only one assistant, Binnacle his name was, who was uh, his assistant when he was shooting his gun off. And uh, this was the song that we originally had written for Admiral Boom. Erwin Costa, our musical director, liked the main theme so much, he used that theme in the movie, every time we saw Admiral Boom, you heard this little main chorus. But this is the whole song, the way, most of the song, the way we originally had done it. Who makes Spain's armada with daring and the skill, and cut them up just like a mutton pie? And one of the men said, Ah, uh, sir, sir, Sir Francis Drake. And he said, That's right, you are. That's right, you are. And who, when at Trafalgar, displayed its sort of skill? And thereby put Napoleon in the eye. And he says, uh, that was uh, Horatio Alves, Horatio Nelson, correct. And who in the Royal Navy established that rigid time, that firm and flex flexible innocent, in a hill known as T. And they said, Admiral, who write you all? Uh, da 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 da. That was a good lyric there. Da 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 da. The name for punctuality, you may safely assume, safely assume, soon, 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 is known throughout the Alberal tea. It's me, it's at, it is I, sir. I, sir. Is it? Oh, yes, it is I. At because I've never played that song in 53 years. So you have to bless that one off. It's a, it's a little bit, a little bit tired. There's another song that I particularly liked, and we actually used it, we tried to use it in Poppins, and we tried to use it in uh, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. And both times, in both those movies, this song just wound up on the cutting room floor. It never got into the picture. We actually had recordings and everything. And it's, when Mary Poppins, it started, was inspired by the story where Mary Poppins uh, tells the story of uh, a zoo where the zoo was kept by the animals and the people were in the cages. And we said, that's kind of fun. We could have some fun with that. And so we coined a word. It's called the Chimpan Zoo. And our Chimpan Zoo went something like this. I, again, 50 years. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Um, I'm, I'm blanking out. Did you not get it? Oh, I rehearsed this this afternoon, so I, I've got it. Uh, uh, 
In Timbuktu there's a chimpanzee that's run by a chimpanzee. It's an oddish place where the human race is under lock and key. And on their backs they wear small plaques for the animals to view, which specify the reasons why they're locked in the chimpanzee. If you're boisterous and bumptious, you're grist for the chimpanzee. If you're overly rambunctious, you're whisk to Timbuktu. Laughs, laughs, nothing but laughs, but you know who's laughing at who. It's the animals there who giggle and stare at you and the chimpanzee. Now I have an orchestra, which I'm going to bring. The orchestra's in my hand. Wait a second, I'll get it. Don't, don't go away. Wait a there it is, I got it. <laughs> More rhythm. If you're overly, you may never play the music halls in all your wildest dreams. But bellow and blast to the chimpanzee, and the animals burst their seams. It takes a lot of talent and time to become a West End attraction. But in this place, one rude release gets a marvelous reaction. Lost, lost, nothing but lost. You know who's laughing at who? It's the animals there, bellow and stare, grave with glee and credulously at the raucous, bumptious, crowded crew. At you and the chimpanzee.